Hello everyone, welcome to ThemeWild. So in this video, we're going to be using the Master LMS plugin to create an online course within your WordPress website for free. Let's get started with the video, but before we do, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you'd like to connect with me on socials, my Twitter link will be down in the description below. So make sure you go check it out. And I suppose, let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are within the computer screen. I've loaded up a fresh new WordPress website using the LMS course FSE theme here. Anyways, let's go back to our admin area first. And from in here, let's go ahead and let's add our plugin. Let's go over to plugins, click on add plugin. And once in here, simply search for Masterio LMS. That's M-A-S-T-R-I-Y-O LMS. And you should see this plugin right here. You can simply click on install and activate. Once the plugin has been installed, activated, you'll be redirected to their setup wizard. Now, first of all, let's select I am creating this site as and whatever it is that you do, you can simply select that. For me, I'm going to select solo creator here and what features I would need like payments, certificates, maybe I would want to sell this course, uh, sell my courses to groups, revenue sharing between the platform and multiple other instructors, multiple courses, I can select all that. But for this video, let's keep things simple. I'm going to select multiple courses here and payments, right? And let's click on next here. And once we're in here, uh, it's going to ask you to set up your payments, like your currency and what sort of payment methods you would want to use to sell your online course. So. I'm going to select my currency here. I'm going to leave it at United States and let's enable offline payment and PayPal. For PayPal, you can simply just give in your PayPal email address, I guess, and you should be good to go. If you want to enable Stripe as well, you can do that. All these and many more payment processors are available in the free versions, just letting you know. Anyways, let's click on next here. And now if you are creating a site from scratch, then this is going to be very helpful. Now this right here is their starter template section. If you're creating a site from scratch, you don't have a website design ready, then you can import any one of these templates. You can make changes to it. They have support for Gutenberg as well as Elementor. So that's pretty good. But yeah, in case you already have a website design ready, then you can simply skip this step here. And here now it's asking me whether or not I want to install sample courses. I'm going to select yes here. And I guess let's visit my site first. Anyways, here you can see that this plugin has created a few different pages for your account page, checkout, courses, instructor registration list, learn page. Let's not worry about any of these. First of all, let's go ahead. Let's check out our courses page here. So this right here is your course archive page, so to speak. This is what houses every single course that you create. And these are the sample courses that we imported while we were in the setup wizard. So this is what your courses are going to look like. This is your single course page. You've got your overview section in here. It also shows related courses, pretty good. You've got a curriculum here. People can come in, they can see what the course has to offer. They can also see reviews and they can start the course. We'll dive into the course's learning experience in just a bit. Let's first go ahead and let's complete our course creation. So for that, back here within my WordPress dashboard, go within Master Rio courses and let's click on add new course. Now let's give our course a name. I'm going to name it Learn WordPress Zero to Hero. Uh, I have a different document here with all the information that I would need for this video, just letting you know. For course description, you can have a description in here. I have this very random text that I have, probably not the best description, but yeah. Anyways, for your course description area, you can format your text however you want to. So that is pretty good. And now let's go within course highlights. So just like the name suggests, very quick highlights for your course, bullet points, you can simply paste it in. Let me remove the numbering in here. Just very quick highlights here. You can see three weeks course, complete WordPress, 40 plus hours of videos, industry expert, instructor, my bad. So yeah, um, that's done. And now if you're creating multiple different courses, then you can categorize your courses as well. I don't really want to categorize this course right now. So I'm simply going to upload a new featured image here. Now for this video, I do have an image created. I'm simply going to upload that here. The thumbnail basically says learn WordPress zero to hero. I'm simply going to select it. And there it is. That's our featured image there. And now that's about it. Let's click on publish here and then let's go within our builder area. So this right here is the actual course builder, so to speak. You can come in, you can add various different sections. You can give your section a name. Suppose this one is going to be WordPress basics. I'm simply going to add this here. And within this section, I can add various different lessons like text lesson, video lesson, live stream lesson, a quiz as well. For now, let's click on video lesson. Now let's give this lesson a name, how everything works. That's going to be the first lesson, how everything works. Now, since this is a video lesson, I'll have to select a video source, self-hosted, YouTube, Vimeo, external URL. You can also embed videos from different other video streaming platforms. 
For this video, I'm simply going to select YouTube here. Now, of course, if you are creating a premium course, then you would want to self-host your videos elsewhere and you can embed it with this option. But for now, YouTube it is. Let me go ahead, copy the link and paste it in here. There it is. This is our first lesson right now. If I would like to have timestamps for this video, then I can simply add timestamps in here. Suppose this is the intro area, right? This is the main content. Suppose I can add that in there as well. And this is how it's going to look like. Same as the YouTube player, I guess. Suppose this part is named subscribe because you better subscribe right and suppose this area is the outro then i can do something like that as well i can add it and there it is looks pretty good and if you'd like to give your lesson or your video lesson a description then you can do so as well just more information in in, in the form of text then you can do that as well anyways let's do that and let's click on publish lesson here we've got our first ever lesson so that's pretty good now in the same way you can add multiple different sections you can add various contents all these different contents here within those sections which i'm going to do and i'm going to get back to you in just a second okay it seems i'm done adding all of these sections and all of the lessons in here i've also added a text lesson to show you what that's going to look like and yeah it seems we're good to go make sure you don't forget to update these are all of these sections we have. Now, finally, I'm also going to show you how you can add quizzes. But even before I do that, let me preview what this is looking like currently. Every All the sections that we just created, all the lessons. Bada bing, bada boom. This right here is our single course page looking pretty good. If I go over to our curriculums, then this right here is all the lessons that we just created. And this is how it's going to look like in the front end. Now, I could jump into the course right now. Could show you what that looks like as well. You know what? Why not? Start the course. This right here is the learning experience for your users. They can come in. They can watch the videos. What do you call this thing again? <laughs> Timestamps, my bad. And yeah, all the lessons are in here. If people would like to toggle between light mode, dark mode, they, they've got all that facility as well. For a more distraction-free learning experience, everything here is collapsible. If you mark something as complete, then up top, you have this nice looking progress slider which is really nice as well and let me show you what a text lesson would look like i created one specifically for that so this right here is a text lesson uh, you can format texts however you would want to you can make things bold italicize them underline them you can align them and you can embed things as well so this is pretty good anyways now let's go back to our course building experience here there's one more thing that you can add and i'm going to add that first of all i'm going to start off by adding a new section this is going to be our quiz section so yeah let's click on add new content here and let's add a new quiz final trials all right that's what i'm going to name this quiz and this right here is a short description for the quiz test out your wordpress skills so far this quiz will be the judge of how well you understand the content of the course yada yada let's just click on next here and now we can start adding questions in the free version you can choose between true or false a single course and multiple choice questions for more questions you can check out their pro version anyways for now let's choose true or false i've got a few questions in here as well uh the first question is going to be php is the core of wordpress and obviously the answer is just true or false and the correct answer here is true i can do so and i can give it my points as well so 10 points for this question now let me update it and let's go ahead let's add another question in here let's add a single choice question and the second question here is the blocks in wordpress are called first option is gutenberg the second option is really funny it's Gutenberg. <laughs> the third option is lutenberg and the fourth option is a place it's luxembourg so there it is these are our four choices the correct choice is obviously gutenberg and if i'd like to sort them i can do so as well there it is Let's click on update here but wait even before i do that i gotta add points in here i'm going to give it 10 points let's click on update and now while we're at it let's also add the third kind of question multiple choice question and by the way there's no limits in questions you can use however many of these you would want to let's click on multiple choice here finally the last question i've got here is when you like a channel what do you do what do you do you know what this is going to be a quiz for you as well maybe the first one is going to be subscribe the second one is probably going to be like third one options c is comment good things under the video and the final one is going to be report which i don't think anyone would want to do the correct answers here are subscribe like and comment and yeah i'm going to give this thing 10 points as well so in total we've got 30 points for this quiz right so let's click on update here and there it is we've got all three of our questions in here now let's go within quiz settings and since we know we've got three questions that's 30 points let's give it 30 points our pass points is going to be 10 i guess 
Dear Stern, if you'd want to add all these, you can. Reveal mode, basically after the quiz has been complete, do you want to show them the answers? Yes or no, that's all really. Now let's click on publish quiz. And now our quiz has been published as well. So there it is, we've got all of our questions in here as well. Now if I go within the course settings, then from in here, basically I can manage all the individual settings for this specific course. So here within course basics, if I want to give this course a new badge, like new or feature, etc., I can do that. It's gonna show up in the front end in the course card area. You can select a difficulty here. Suppose this course is for beginners. I can select that. It's gonna show up in the front end as well. Suppose this course is gonna take like 10 hours to complete, then I can put in my time there. And suppose I want to control the enrollment and the access then I can limit the number of students. I can fiddle around with the static enroll account. I can set passwords. I can do all that. I really urge you if you're using this plugin to go ahead, play with these settings on a test website. It's really gonna help you figure out what this plugin has to offer. It's got a lot of different features. Anyways, uh, let's go within display, nothing much. You can figure that out yourself. The most important place here would be pricing. If you'd like to create free courses uh, with no registration required or a registration required, then you can toggle that from in here. If you'd like to create a premium course, then you would select the pricing option as paid and you would give in your price. Suppose this course goes for about $20 and on sale, I would like to sell it for $18. I can update it. There it is. And there's more things in here like group pricing and also content drip. It basically means how you would want your lessons unlocked for the students, etc. Let's not jump into that. Now let's dive into the Masterio LMS settings. And from in here, let's go within payments and let's set up our payments first. So here, before in the setup wizard, we selected offline payment and standard PayPal. For our payment processors, those have been enabled here for us. If you'd like to use Stripe, Mali, or Lemon Squeezy, you can use all of these payment processors for free, just letting you know. Anyways, for this video, I'm going to be mainly specific on the offline payment. If you'd like to properly set up PayPal, just using your email will work. But if you run into any errors, etc., the plugin has awesome support, as well as an awesome documentation. You can check those out. For now, I'm going to set up my offline payment in here. Now, I'm simply going to name it Bank Transfer for now. If you've got any other payment processors that are not really supported worldwide, then you can put that description in here. For me, I've got a very basic description in here that I'm going to simply paste it in just like so. Let me remove all the extra spacing. Oh, there it is. I've got some basic details in here. And for instructions, you can say things like, I don't know, your order will be completed as soon as we review the payment, right? You can do that stuff. And if you'd like to enable wire transfer, like actually just want to give in like your bank details, etc., then you can paste those in here. Uh, the plain text is awesome for payment processors where you can simply just give in your ID and you know people can pay and if you would like to then you can also enable a file upload field here in the offline payments a checkout field where people can upload their QR so I'm going to show you what that looks like as well when you do that make sure you add one thing within your instructions as well or actually within this description you can just let people know to upload the QR or my bad not the QR the payment invoice in the form now let's go ahead let's save it and yeah that's about it really let's go ahead and let's check out your course in the front end i'm going to open this up in an incognito window to get the full experience right anyways this right here is our single course page it looks pretty good before that let me show you the course archive page this right here is our course card it shows the course difficulty level right here quick highlights number of lessons amount of time it's going to take to complete this course the course price Looks pretty good and yes let's try to buy this course and let me show you the experience so if i click on buy now now it's going to ask you to fill out this form right here suppose i'm going to fill this thing out now i can come in i can you know select bank transfer as my payment gateway i can select paypal etc if i've set that thing up yeah for now let's select bank transfer in here i'm just going to upload a random image that i have and let's toggle the create user checkbox and let's confirm our payment there it is. Thank you. Your order has been received. This is our order number, which is 69. That's pretty funny. $18 and it is done. Now the user can go to their account page. They can download the invoice. If they go to their account page, then they'll see their order right here. The order status as well. An email will be sent to them as well. And now if I go here within the back end, then I can go within Master Video, go within orders here, and I should see a new order. And I should also see this notification pop up. Now let me click on edit. I can check out their file upload attachment in here. I can update their status. If it checks out, I can do completed. I can update the order. And as soon as this thing is done, if I go back to the user perspective in my incognito window, if I refresh this, 
then here you can see the order status has been set to completed. Now, if I go within your courses here, then I can see my course. So I can simply click on start course and I'll jump into the learn area right here. As I said before, I can come in, I can toggle dark mode, light mode. I can see all my notifications in here as well. So that is pretty dope. And yeah, I can continue my learning in here. And now let me show you the quiz experience. So this right here is our quiz area. I can simply access it. Let's click on start quiz. And now let's go ahead. Let's answer these questions. PHP is the core of WordPress. That's true. Gutenberg is the correct answer here. Now, when you like a channel, what do you do? I'm going to purposefully get this thing wrong just so you see or you get the full experience. Let's click on submit quiz confirm and there it is this right here is my result total questions three answered three total attempt one total points 30 i earned 20 because i got one of them wrong 67 percent i have passed that's pretty cool i can click on complete quiz in here and there it is this quiz has been completed as well and that my friends is how you go about creating premium online courses in wordpress for free you can start earning today without having to spend any penny on the plugin so yeah i guess that's about it so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did drop a like subscribe if you haven't already my twitter link will be down in the description below make sure you go check it out connect with me over there i'm super active and yeah i suppose that's about it for this video i'm sid and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care